Welcome to Yoga TX. My name is Savannah and today I'm bringing to you a little energizer flow. So when I first started practicing yoga, I came to the practice because I felt like my body, my energy, my emotions, everything was real stagnant. It seemed to be stuck. I didn't know I was depressed, but that was the case for me. It doesn't have to be the case for you to enjoy this video. I do encourage you to just try it out and uh, meet yourself where you're at. If this gets a little challenging, let it be challenging. If things get a little tough, laugh it off and join us back when you're ready. We'll be starting at the top of our mat today. So once you find your comfy flow clothes, maybe you find some, some flow clothes, this will definitely be a flow class. Make yourself feel beautiful as you move and just find the movements that feel right for you today. Let's go ahead and start with both of our hands down at our abdomen. We'll have our thumbs connecting at the point of our navel, the rest of our fingers moving down towards our lower belly. More than welcome to start this practice with your eyes open. Maybe you lift your gaze to the ground about eight feet in front of you so your head still is leveled. Or if you feel comfortable doing so, you might start to soften the eyes and close them here. Allow yourself a moment to just feel the feet on the ground. You can think of your feet as rooting into the ground and receiving support, stability from the earth beneath you. As you're ready to take a breath in, no judgment, in through the nose, down through the throat. Notice where the breath expands in the body. And as you exhale, navel draws back to your spine. So we're looking for full exhales. So that your next inhale will feel more free and expanding throughout the body ribs, chest, and back. Breathing out, navel draws back towards your spine. You might feel a little strengthening in the abdominal, abdominal muscles beneath your fingers. Hold that just a bit as you take your inhale. Feel the expansion in the ribs now. Relax the belly at the end of your exhalation. And breathing in, expanding belly, ribs, and chest again. Two more rounds of breath. Exhale, navel to spine. Soften your abdomen. Feel the inhale spread throughout the collarbones, sides of the ribs, back, front of the chest. Full breath out. If your eyes are closed, go ahead and open your eyes. Bring your arms out wide. Now, we work with this idea of Vyana in yoga, which is the circulation of prana throughout our uh, practice and throughout our body. Vyana really focuses on the limbs of us so that we can spread out and spread that energy through our body. So we're going to work through the fingertips today. Once you feel like your fingertips are reaching out to the side, relax your left arm and allow your right arm to pull the top half of your body over towards the right. Take a breath in here. And as you exhale, come back through center. Next inhale, relax the right side of your body. Left fingertips, pull the top half of your body over. Exhale, back through center. Each time you breathe in, one side of your arm or one side of your body pulls over to your side. Stop and notice what do you feel on the opposite side of your body, those connections. And breathing in as you move to the other side. And we'll add on a little bit more. Next time you reach with one arm over, flex that same arm back. So the fingertips pull back. Notice the sensation in your palms. And as you exhale, relax the wrists. Come back through center. And again, breathe in. One arm pulls you to the side at the top of your inhale. Flex your fingertips back. Spread out through your thumbs. Feel that in your palm. Exhale it back. One more time on each side. So already spreading some of that prana, that life force energy out towards the edges of our limbs. And on your next inhale, let your arms rise up over your head. As you exhale, bring your arms out wide and behind your back. We're going to clasp our fingertips here. Shift your fingers over towards the right side of your low back. Take a breath in, looking over to the right. And drop your chin down towards the right side of your collarbone. Give your neck some movement here. Notice what would feel good. What direction does the chin want to roll in towards the center of the chest? 
or towards the edge of your shoulder. And shifting your hands over towards the left side of your back. Hug the right shoulder blade a little bit closer towards your spine. Take a breath in as you turn towards the left with your nose, as you exhale, chin down towards your chest. So finding that movement that feels good. Noticing the connections between your arm, neck, chest, and shoulders. And then relax your chin down. Take one more breath in, sweeping your arms over your head. On your next breath out, bend your knees deeply. Think like you're sitting back into a chair. We'll bring our hands down to the ground. Maybe you have blocks underneath your hands. I like to use my fingertips so that I stay lifted. We'll step the right foot back behind us. And as that right foot steps back, go ahead and lower your right knee. Plant your right hand underneath your right shoulder. On your next breath in, left arm reaches up towards the sky. As you exhale, bring your left hand down on the ends inside of your left foot. And then we'll start again. Breathe in, reach up through the left fingertips. Feel that expansion from the arm, through the chest, through the low back, and as you exhale, back down. We'll take that two more rounds. Inhale is expanding throughout the rib cage, throughout the sides of the body, into the back of the ribs. Exhale. Next time you breathe in and reach up through your left arm, pause there for a moment. Notice if your left arm is behind you or if you can stack your shoulders right on top of each other. Keep reaching up through the left fingertips. I'm gonna remove that tucking of my right toes, press down through the right shin, lean into the right shoulder and you have an option. Would you like to wiggle your left foot to the back of the mat? Or maybe you start the fun right here, start the wiggles, the wobbles, take one step back coming into a side plank here. On your next breath in, left arm comes over your ear like you're arcing over. Feel those top ribs expand. As you exhale, pull your left hand behind you. Palm is flipping up. We'll relax our head down to our right shoulder. Breathing in, left arm comes over your left ear. Look up. And as you exhale, look down. Left arm pulls away from you. So two more breaths like this. You'll feel the energy in the body if you're doing this. It might look simple when I'm doing it, but it's taking everything I have to coordinate my breath, my movement, and my balance. Next inhale, left arm reaches back up. Left foot steps back up. Turn your chest towards the top of the mat. Take a deep breath in, both arms reach up. As you exhale, hands down to the ground. Again, you might use your fingertips or blocks underneath. We'll tuck that back toe, step your right foot up. Take a deep breath in, arms lift up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, fold down. Step your left foot back, and this time we'll swivel towards the left side of the mat. Both toes pointing forward, bend your knees deeply so you can feel that as if you're sitting in a chair position. Start to rock the body from side to side. So we've had some focus on our neck, chest, and shoulders, now coming into our legs. See if you can spread the toes out wide, keeping the arches alive in your feet as you shift your weight from side to side. And then when you're ready, go ahead and turn your toes to the back of your mat. Step your right foot up, deeply bend your knees, and we'll take that left foot behind us. Lower your left knee down to the ground. Left hand on the inside of your right foot. Take a deep breath in, reaching your right arm up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, right hand grounds back down on the floor. Notice the rotation in your rib cage as you breathe in and reach up towards the ceiling. Exhaling down. Two to three more times. This is an energizing flow, but we don't want to lose connection to the breath. Remember that your long, complete exhales help you take a deeper breath in. Next time you reach your right arm up towards the ceiling, go ahead and pause there. Check the alignment of that top arm. If it's behind you, it might make you wobble a little bit more. So let's stack the shoulders, hug that left shoulder blade onto the back of your rib cage. Maybe you wiggle that right foot towards the back of the mat, which should now be the front, or maybe you start the fun, step your right leg back. Take a breath in, right arm comes over your ear as you look up underneath your armpit. Exhale, right arm reaches away from you as you look down. Now we don't realize how much our neck over works for us. Inhaling as the arm comes over the ear, look up. 
until you start to change the positioning of your neck, your whole body is like, whoa, what is that need for balance? So many times our neck is actually overworking for our other deep core muscles. So while you're mobilizing the neck, mobilizing the arm, you're also strengthening the other core muscles. Last round. Next breath in, right arm comes alongside your ear. Step your right foot up again. Breathe in, both arms lift up over your head. Big reach up. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step your left foot up. Breathe in all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. Go ahead and pause here for a moment. Press your thumbs up against your heart. Notice if you can feel your heartbeat. And on your next inhale, shift your weight to your left foot. Reach your arms up. We'll hike that right knee up just slightly. So right heel lifts up. As you exhale, bring your hands down by your hips and elevate your right knee. Doesn't have to be much. Breathe in, lower your right foot down to the ground. Heel and all. As you exhale, lift your right leg up, hands come down. So we're gonna dynamically work into this pose. Try it one more breath, lifting your arms up as the leg lowers. Exhale, hands come down as the right knee comes down. One more inhale. On your next exhale, as your right knee comes up, reach your right hand down to the ground, behind you, or straight out into a T. Pause for a moment, let that left foot move around and calibrate so that it can find the ground, find your balance. And then slowly step your right foot towards the back of the mat. Bring your hands to your heart. Right foot to the back of the mat, seal your heel down, turn your chest up towards the ceiling. Take a strong breath in, arms reaching alongside your ears. So this is similar to side angle pose, except we're asking the body to hold itself up. Pause to feel the breath. If you relaxed your neck, what else would come in to help you stay lifted? On our next exhale, we're gonna come into a star balance. Reach your left hand down towards the ground, right arm up towards the ceiling. Shift your weight in towards your left foot. Start with just lifting up the right heel and then flex your right toe. If you feel like you could expand out a little bit more, maybe you kick out through that right heel, stand up a little taller on your left leg. And again, we'll make it dynamic. Lower your right foot, bring your hands to your heart, settle into that right heel, take a breath in, arms stretch up alongside your ears. Each exhale we take, bring your hands down, shift into your left foot, play with lifting the right heel. Maybe you flex the toe. Maybe an inhale to expand out. One more time, hands to heart. Lower your right foot, heel and all. Breathe in, arms stretch up alongside your ears. Exhale, coming into your variation of star balance. Exhale, lower your foot. Bring your hands down to the ground. Rock the body from side to side. Notice any work that happened in your ankle, that's normal. Turn your toes back towards the top of your mat. Step your left foot up. Take a strong breath in, arms come up. Exhale, hands to heart, plug your thumb in. Pause with the breath. On your next inhale, arms reach up over your head. Maybe even take a little stretch back. So you exhale, shift the weight into your right leg. Bring your hands down by your hips. Let your left knee come up. Inhale, arms lift, left leg lowers. Give yourself a chance to slow down here and catch the breath. I'm sure you've already got your heart rate going. Time to balance the effort out. Next time, the left knee lifts up. Reach your right hand forward, point your left hand down to the ground, or maybe you reach it slightly back behind you. If you're really looking for that balance challenge today, maybe you reach the arms in opposite direction, feeling that rotation happen in the rib cage here. Pause with the breath, find a gaze point, a place for your eyes to rest on. 
Slowly bring your hands back to heart center. Step your left foot to the back of the mat. Slowly bend the right knee. Left toes come down, left heel comes down. We'll turn our rib cage towards the ceiling. Keep that press back with your right knee. On your next inhale, arms come alongside your ears. Really stretch up, feel that lift of the rib cage. Pause here for a couple breaths. Let your gaze turn down, or maybe you shift your gaze. Notice if the neck can soften here. And on your next breath out, bring your hands back together, thumbs to heart center. Start to shift some more weight into that right leg and just play with lifting off that left heel. Once you have that lift, see what would happen if you flex the toe up and then set it down. Flex the toe up, set it down. When you're ready, maybe you take an inhale, stretch your arms back out wide, come to that star balance. As you exhale, left foot comes down, hands to heart. Settle back into this lifted side angle pose as you breathe in, arms alongside the ear. Now you don't have to move at my speed, but on your exhale, come into that variation of balance that you're working with for yourself. Maybe you take an inhale as your balance and expand out. <laughs> Lower your left heel, hands to heart. Breathe in, arms stretch up. One more time, hands to center, settle into that right leg, lift your left heel, maybe the left toes flex up. Breathe in, expand into it. Exhale, both feet come down, turn your toes to the side of the mat, rest your elbows on your thighs and rock the body from side to side. Keeping the knees bent, breathe in, arms reach up as the legs press out. As you exhale, left forearm comes down to your left thigh, keep reaching over your ear with your right arm. Inhale, back through center. This time, arms come wide. We'll flex both fingertips back. Press out through the palms. Exhale, right forearm down to right thigh. Your breath in. Hugs that left arm over your left ear. Next breath in. Back through center. We'll flex the fingertips back again. Press out through the knees. Press out through the palms of your hands. And as you breathe out, turn your toes forward, slide your hands down your legs for support. Shift your hands back towards the top of the mat. Come to your hands and knees. Take a breath in, pressing the tops of your shins into the ground, peeling your chest away from your navel, and as you exhale, pressing the ground away. See if you can start to slow the inhale down as it comes through the nose, down the throat. On that exhale, maybe you stay with that rounding, that tucking of the tailbone, or maybe you start to lower your forearms down and draw your hips back. Two more breaths. Your choice as you breathe in, come forward from child's pose or just come into cow pose, belly drops. Exhale, rounding the spine or adding that dropping back of your heels and hips together, forearms come down. Right after this, lie on your back. So there is this sensation that I have played with when you get really active in your yoga practice and then you stop and lie down. Traditionally, Shavasana or that corpse pose, that final relaxation was taken in the middle of class to transition from active effort to relaxed effort. So as you lie here, just notice how the body feels. Maybe you wiggle your fingertips. Wiggle your toes. And on your next breath in, stretch your arms over your head, stretch your heels up towards the ceiling. Keep the arms alongside the ears, and as you exhale, bend your knees. Send your knees over towards the left. With the arms alongside the ears, that allows you to turn all the way over until your knees find the ground. And then maybe you just bring your hand on your chest and lean back. So you want stability for the low back and the hips, mobility and movement through the upper body. Let your right hand rest on the right side of your rib cage. Feeling the breath expand into your fingertips. Again, this idea of dhyana, dispersing your body's healing energy from the core of your being 
out towards the edges of your body. And on your next breath out, draw your navel towards your spine, hug your knees towards your chest, elevate your heels, stretch your arms over your head for an inhale. And on your next breath out, bending your knees, dropping them over towards the right. Make sure you get your knees all the way over towards the right and then maybe you rest your left hand on your chest and lean back again. I'm gonna keep my hands near my rib cage so I can feel the breath coming into my body. I can feel that active effort of my ribs hugging towards each other to get the full breath out. Could the neck relax as the ribs expand? Next breath out, hug your navel back towards your spine, scoop your knees up towards the chest. Reach your hands towards your toes and scoop your head off your mat. Once you find this reach forward, go ahead and start to lift your shin so that they're parallel to the ground. See if you can keep this shape in your body, ribs hugging in, tailbone tucking up as you extend your arms alongside your ears. On your next breath out, rock forward. Lift all the way up to seated pose. Find the seat that's comfortable for you and stretch the body out. Maybe it's over your head. Maybe you take a little side bend over. Breathing in as you lift back up. Exhale as you lean to the other side. Inhaling back through center. Both hands come towards your chest. Press your thumbs up against your heart again. Noticing the breath here, maybe taking an exhale out through pursed lips to re-regulate the system. Bring it back down to earth. Know that at any point in time in your practice, in your life, if you feel like you just need to come down to earth and lay down, do it. You won't regret it. In fact, there's science on it. Grounding, look it up. And when you need that extra bit of energy, come back to the practice. Let it be out of fun, out of the sake of playing just for playing, not for accomplishing anything. Know that no matter the way, no matter the obstacle, I'm always rooting for you. And we're always here to join you in your practice, nudge you just a little bit more Namaste.